Hello gamers, and welcome back to Turbo Time. Today we are once again taking another look at this cool, weird bionicle fan game I, made, I found. It was made by Team Kanoe, those are the developers, they did an awesome job on it. So shout out to you Team Kanohi. Uh, just waiting for the loading time, for the loading screen. There we go. Yeah, it's taking a little weird longer to load today for some reason. Ah, here we go. This brings back all kind of memories. Gonna check the chat. Okay, let's see what our quest is. Okay, we need to find the Ever Chiragas. So, we'll go to Takoro, because that's the closest, and we'll find Jala. Takoro is that way, so, just get to face here. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. It's crazy to think this came out over 20 this franchise came out 20 years ago. But it's made such an impact that somebody would spend like this amount of time developing and designing all these character models. It's really crazy. But you know, it's kind of me thinking about the power of the past. I'm sure everyone is familiar with the age old brain of saying not to dwell on the past, which is true. And usually people fall in the trap of they'll keep focusing on the negatives of the past. But in my personal experience, I've kind of found that the positives of the past. They can be just as addicting. You know, that's also due to like how association works with the brain. Like, I got this one friend, for example. She's out to Dan Gray's Nanny. But I think she and like our other friend have rewatched the series at least about twenty times now. But it creates a feedback loop. Like for them. When they're watching Grey's Anatomy, they're remembering like, not just the show, but the good times they had watching the show with like friends or siblings. And that's kind of how I feel right now playing this game. Like, I'm being reminded of all the good times I had playing Bionicles as a kid and like just playing with brothers or friends. It's really nice. If you want to look from a scientific angle, you could suggest that like, you know, Maybe the me the happy memory is uh, causing the brain to produce dopamine, which is true. And dopamine, as we all know, is like the feel-good chemical your brain makes. And it can be addictive, so that creates a feedback loop where you want to dive into even more nostalgic veins that made you happy when you were younger. Whether it's something like this game, or Grey's Anatomy, or could be whatever. Yeah. That's just my two cents in as, like, an amateur psychologist. <laughs> Remember, kids, bionicles, not drugs. <laughs> wow, it's getting hot here. Well, I mean, you can tell. Like, look at all this cardio I've been doing. Hey, I wonder what this button does. 
Oh, wait. Oh, cool. I can change the Evertoa. Okay, okay. So I guess for those who are new to the franchise, I probably should name each character for you. So this is Tahu. He is the Toa Fire. Um, you got Pohatu. Toa Stone. Oh, cool. They even got the little ball fins on the side. And you'll notice that he is, uh, the sign is a little bit different than the other characters. His torso is upside down. And yeah, the set did come out like that. I wonder what the, if his mask is. Oh, man, yes! That is awesome! Accurate recreation of the mask of speed. That is tight. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got Onua. From what I can tell, most people weren't really big fans of Onua. Like, I've never met anybody, even the Bionic fan, was like, Oh, Onua, nah, he's just... He's always just been kind of there, you know? Like, it's like, oh, it's Onua. He's the Toe of Earth. Uh, in a lot of the books, he was kind of more of a stick in the mud. But usually good for getting pep talks or so is mind controlled. Okay, next up, we got Kapaka. <laughs> now, I always wanted one of the, this one when I was a kid, but I never got him. I thought he was pretty cool, though. <laughs> well, cool is funny because, like, ice, you know? He's the toe of ice. Thought he was cool. Yeah, my joke's a little cringe. I know that. Uh, I wonder if the mask works. Oh! Oh, man! That is awesome! Like, look at the distance on that. You can see all those enemies and NPCs. Wow. This is sick. Oh, yeah, and finally, uh, we have Toa Gali. Now, uh, Gali is the only female member of the Toa. And you can tell because of how feminine her uh, design is compared to the other characters. You see, where she has a torso with joints and uh, broad shoulders... A male, like Tahu, has a torso with joints and broad shoulders. That was uh, one of the things I always found weird about the franchise. Uh, for some reason, all of the female characters, in the Matoran line at least, they uh, come from the village of Gakoral and are associated with water. Like, I don't know why they didn't just have like a mixture of male and female characters, but... You know, like, it was the only two, it was like 2001, and this toy line was, like, supposed to appeal to boys, so it's like, ew, girls? Nah, let's just put them all on, on all the girls in one village by the sea. But as the franchise evolved, you'd think that we would have seen more female Toa from, like, other elements. But no, unfortunately, that never happened. Bionicle never got woke, as it is. Well... That's not true entirely. Like, the franchise does get a little bit more woke. Uh, but I'll explain that after I talk to this guy. Ah, it's Matoran. Oh, and he was just thinking, okay. What about you guys? I mean, yeah, you could make it shorter, like, I guess it's how you use it. Oh. Oh, hello there, Toa! It's true, the Tagoral Guard does supply pikes. But, if you buy your own, you can get one in better condition. And even get it customized. My only option is to say cool, but capitalism's not cool, so no thanks. Oh, that's neat. Ooh, parts. Okay. Oh, right, I gotta crouch in. Because they did not build to accommodate people of different body types. It's pretty uh, ableist of you. Ah, hello, Jala. Welcome to Talk Cool, you m. You m oh, sorry. You mook. <laughs> Tell a Tahu. Is there anything you need? And then he'll be like, yeah, who are you? 
What? Are you serious? I'm Jala, kept with the Takuro God. And right hand, the truck of a camera, see? I'd assume that's Matanui's chosen heroes wouldn't be this forgetful, see? Yeah, whatever, man. Just. How do I get to the village? I just gotta use this lever, cross the moat. Why even moat? Who are you trying to keep out? Jeez, it's like Trump all over again. And we've got another yellow faced guy with a moat or wall trying to keep people out of his community. Not cool, Jala. Not cool. Yeah, I will. Oh crap, I meant to say, like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, as I was saying, the franchise does get a little more woke. Um, in the early days of the franchise, uh, one of the Gamma Torn is supposedly in a relationship with one of the Poma Torn. Those are the stone guys. But, uh, about years later, the author of the books told fans that love is not canon in the franchise, which effectively means well, like, okay, so love is still in the franchise, like obviously the characters have love for like their neighbors, their communities, and their friends, but like, love in the romantic sense, or the sexual sense, is not existent for multiple reasons uh, one these are bioorganic beings, they do not possess genitals, and two it is a children's toy line of course they're not going to get into that so, yes, uh, technically, if you want to be technical about, every character in this franchise is asexual. So, yeah. That's pretty woke of them. For, like, a pre-2010 franchise. Ah, Shrug Um, am I- do you guys think I'm interrupting something, chat? Like, <laughs> uh, you know what, I'll just tap politely. Ah, welcome, Toa. I'm glad that at least you are safe. Uh, you know what? I don't even- how do I know you? Just remind me of that, please. My, my. Your mind works in strange ways, Toa. Hey, jackass, it's called neural diversity. Not everybody thinks the same way. You don't need to be ableist about Trogopakama. Very well. I will regale you. The captain of the guard had taken a small hunting party into the charred forest. They were attempting to capture a frightening beast that had been sighted by more than a few villagers. Little did they know that they were searching for you. Just because he's a little bit taller, you called him a frightening beast? Oh my god, you're, you're so backwards. Oh cool, there's actually cutscenes in this game though. Ah, there's Jala, that isolationist jerk, trying to keep everyone out of talk world. Like, why? Oh, oh, that's nice. Get your lawyer. No, no, don't do that. Well, now they're going to hurt you. Oh my god, the stones on Jala. Yeah, Tahu, take them down. Wow. You know what's funny? They're showing more more emotion in the cast of Twilight right now.
Like, oh my god, the acting is so superb. Like, just look at those facial expressions. Watch out, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I should probably talk to the Traga some more. Yes, uh, this is the second time I complete the quest, I guess. Uh, you haven't heard from the other Traga for quite a while, uh... Oh, you, you worried something might happen to him? Okay, well, what should I do about that? Head to the other villages. They might have a better idea of where their Chiraga are. And be sure to visit me after you've found them all. I have something else that you will need to hear. Well, why don't you just tell me now? No, no, no. You must find the other villagers. Well, how am I going to do that? Um, wow. So that's an ass shot. Like, we're... Oh my god. Like... Those are his leg joints right there. So that's what a Bionicle's ass looks like. Wow. I did not need to know that. Still. <laughs> easy access. Good thing they don't have genitals. Ah, and one more thing. When you're searching for masks, could you keep an eye out for... Ah, it's nothing. I'm sure it will turn up in time. Ah, forgive me, Toa. My mind is still troubled. I shall stay here and meditate upon the will of Matanui. <laughs> Look, let's be honest. We all know Trogger McCann was about to say. Um, hey, uh, it's not like I love you or anything, Baka. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll go into these tunnels, and uh, looks like the village of ice is pretty close. We'll go there. Okay, so we'll just go through this volcano, and we'll be on our way. Ah, Kowahi. Oh, what? Okay, I'm confused. And we're going to have to pick it up next time on Turbo Time. Thanks for watching!